My friend uh, uh, Denise Wilson uh, has a uh, great love for and uh, history, so much so that she got a PhD in it. But she has a great love for music as well. And she has created some wonderful things as a result of both those things. So I'm going to turn it over to Denise now and let her talk a little bit about that and share some of that with you. Like I said, Chris and I grew up in Lafayette, Indiana, and when, when I was 14, I was at Fort Wiatna, and they had this wonderful thing called the Feast of the Hunter's Moon, where people come from all over and bring to life what life was like in the 18th century at a French fort like that. Up till then, like, who knew there were French in the Midwest ever? I hated history. I mean, if you would ask me, I would say, I hate history. My most unfavorite topic. But when I was living it, when I was there and learning about it that way, I really started to have a love for it, even though at school I would probably still say I hate history. All different kinds of ways of playing my music and usually mixing history with it. But along the way, I also learned to um, write some of my own songs. And like starting when I was 12 years old, I lied about my age so that I could corn to tassel. So, but I did this with a couple of my friends, and my memory of it was kind of big fun. You know, we would sing, we'd make up songs, and... So when I wrote this song, I was kind of at that place, kind of reflecting on what, what home meant to me, what, what my life here had been like. And this is a, actually it's called Girl from the Cornfields, is what I, what I called it. When I was a girl, I worked in the cornfields Up in the morning, just before dawn I pulled the corn tassels the way I was told to Hour after hour and song after song In the morning, the corn was so wet it would soak me by noon was so dry it would cut me instead How the rain and the mud only slowed our pace slightly Round about noontime the cruel leader said You've been in the fields too long, take a break now The sun is so hot, the humidity's high You go find your lunches, I'll fetch some cool water We'd sit in the shade till a half hour passed by and now as a woman I drive past these cornfields They're part of a comfort of all that is home For thirty-two years I have lived in this county I've been glad to stay as I watch my friends go And they said You've been in Indiana too long, take a break now The sun is so hot, the humidity's high Go live in a new place, expand your horizons. I listened politely and then asked them why. But if a time comes when I move from these cornfields to follow my dreams or to make a new start, I'll keep Indiana inside me forever. Always a girl from the cornfields at heart. But I think one of the things I want to point out about uh, this is that uh, it is a song about history. It tells her history. And we oftentimes only think of history as something that's 100 years old or 50 years old or 1,000 years old. But in this case, it's so contemporary. And I think that thinking about history as a contemporary craft is important. Uh, people you often term, use the term living history, and, and I, I, don't know, and I worked in, uh, for museums and things for many years, and I always thought that was a funny expression, living history, as if with every step you take, history is kind of following along behind you. 